Hi guys, and welcome to our very last How to Outswim a Shark Week video. Today we are talking all about working with animals and careers where you can work with marine animals yourself. In the book, Anna works at an aquarium exhibit where she takes care of the animals but also teaches people about all the different species. This is actually a job that you can do too. Um, most aquarium educators study marine biology or zoology in school, but they love taking what they learn and teaching others about it. This is actually one of the reasons I loved writing these books, because I could not only tell a cool story, but also show kids about the amazing animals that are out there. And that's why I got to include a little uh, section at the beginning of each chapter about a cool animal. That's why I did it. Um, so an aquarium educator is one of the first careers that I would think of if I was wanting to work with marine animals. Another really cool career where you can work with these animals is as a wildlife rehabilitator. Um, before I started writing books, this is actually what my day job was. Only instead of taking care of marine animals like sharks, I helped with land animals like foxes, coyotes, and owls, so local animals that lived around me. Um, rehabbers are people who help orphaned and injured wild animals in hopes that they can release them again. Many marine animals don't make good pets. Obviously, you know that. I can't imagine having a shark as a pet. But we can still help them. You can help rehabilitate dolphins or manatees or seals. All sorts of animals need help. And the rehab centers also need all sorts of people. Some workers clean out cages and tanks. And some are working as veterinarians performing surgery if the animal needs it. And some people are even just doing um, fundraising and raising awareness and educating people about what the centers do and what each animal needs. Another amazing career where you can work with marine animals is as an underwater filmmaker. And you've probably seen all sorts of documentaries that take place underwater featuring sharks or seahorses or crabs or sea snakes. Underwater filmmakers are the ones who make this happen. They use very special, very expensive equipment to go underwater and really bring that world to the rest of us. Um, they usually know how to scuba dive. They travel all over the world, and just like the other jobs we talked about, they love teaching people about cool animals. They just use video camera to do it. So that's three really cool careers. Um, one thing that is true about all of these jobs is that they are very, 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 very hard work. Um, lots of people want to work with animals, but only a few of them are prepared to sort of go the distance and always be learning about new things and stay at the top of their game. It's also very messy work. Oftentimes when I tell people that I worked in wildlife rehab, they have this image of a, a girl standing on a mountain with an eagle releasing it. It's not always like that. In fact, it's very rarely like that. It's actually very messy and stinky and goopy and all the things that Anna experiences in the first, in the first two books. It's very much like that and it's sometimes even dangerous. But working with animals is totally worth it. Um, if you have any questions about how to outswim a shark without a snorkel, you can email me at the address on your screen or just check out my blog. Um, there's also an address there where you can mail me something um, in snail mail and I promise to respond. So uh, thank you so much for watching these videos. I hope you had fun and learned something and happy reading. Bye.